Hi guys, welcome to our video lecture series of Laplace Transforms. So we are discussing about convolution theorem in the lesson of inverse transforms and we uh, talked about uh, inverse transform properties in the previous classes and now I will take a question uh, for the clearance or clearing the concepts. Uh, I will take an uh, other question uh, let's say we have to find the inverse transform of 1 over s squared multiplied by s plus 1 squared so we have to apply the convolution theorem uh, to the problem and solve solve it using convolution so that implies that the f of s is equals to 1 over s squared and g of s is equals to 1 over s squared s plus 1 whole squared so we follow the same steps that we have to break the function into two functions that is f of s and g of s and now we know that the Laplace inverse transform of f of s that is 1 over s squared is equals to t and the Laplace inverse transform of 1 over s plus 1 whole squared is uh, equals to t multiplied by e raised to the power negative t so these concepts we have already discussed in the previous classes so you can learn from there and now I will uh, I will apply the convolution to the problem that is uh, the function is from 0 to t and I can write t as t minus u and this for this function it will be u e raised to the power negative u du so this is the method for convolution the first function is t minus u for this function I write t minus u and then multiply it by this function that is u e raised to the power negative u now I will integrate the function so it will be 0 to t uh, t u e raised to the power negative u du minus 0 to t u squared e raised to the power negative u du so we will move this t out of the bracket so it will be t multiplied by integral 0 to t u e raised to the power negative u du minus 0 to t u squared e raised to the power negative u du so the integral of u e to the power negative u will be u e to the power negative u minus integral negative e raised to the power negative u du and limits from 0 to t minus sine similarly here it will be u e squared e raised to the power negative u minus 2u e raised to the power negative u with the negative sign and then du limits from 0 to t and now we will simplify it further we will solve it so we will get e raised to the power negative u again limits from 0 to t negative sign as it is outside u e squared e power minus u minus minus plus 2 multiplied by then this u e to the power negative u we have already found so I will put this function here minus e raised to the power negative u and the limits from 0 to t now I will apply the limit so I will get negative t e raised to the power negative t minus e raised to the power negative t then minus 0 then minus minus plus e raised to the power 0 this minus this minus and this minus becomes plus and this will be t squared e raised to the power negative t and this minus this plus this minus and this plus will make it more negative then negative into ne this negative it makes positive and it will be 2t e raised to the power negative t then this will be positive again and this will be e raised to the power negative t then minus and minus this plus this will be plus this will be 0 then again 0 then again negative e to the power 0 so now we can simplify this function when we will simplify the function this t multiply by t to the power negative t and this is negative sign so this will cancel out with this function 
then we are left with n this negative t e to the power negative t plus 2t e to the power negative t so it will be t e to the power negative t t e to the power negative t and this e to the power t e to the power negative t this will also be negative t uh, wait a minute just wait a minute is t e to the power negative t of minus and this is plus so this becomes this and then plus e to the power zero is plus one and this plus one and this minus one that will be cancelled no this is t here so it will be plus t it will be plus t and this will be plus uh, e to the power negative t and this will be plus one so now we uh, are obviously near the solution and although we have uh, got the solution i think so because uh, sorry i forget to multiply this by two here it will be two here it will be two because there was two here so i forget to multiply mistake and now we are uh, like uh, near to the solution that is we can write it as t into e to the power negative t uh, something missing here or that is uh, 2 e to the power 0 is okay 2 e to the power negative t this will be 2 e to the power negative t this will be 2 e to the power negative t because 2 is I forgot to multiply this 2 so I will get 2 here also so now <coughs> this will be equal to e to the power negative t multiplied by t plus 2 t plus 2 and then plus t minus 2 t minus 2 this is basically minus 2 a lot of messy uh, system here that's why mistake occurs so the final is e raised to the power negative t multiplied by t plus 2 plus t minus 2 so don't need to hurry for the solution otherwise this mistake occurs between the solution so uh, you can solve it by your own way and check whether if there are any corrections so you may arise thank you for the lesson guys thank you